Hey there, folks. My name is Alex. My partner Megan and I wanted to fill our lives with experience. So we moved into our van, Betty, and hit the road. When we realized how much more we can do while living out of the van, we decided to go all in for the long run. After six months of living in the van and traveling around, we've decided we want to completely rethink, redesign, upgrade, and improve our van. We're doing a full rebuild. This is the Alex Build Stuff Show. It's the show where I build stuff and I show you. Hi there, folks. I'm Alex from the show Alex Build Stuff. It's a show where I build stuff and I'll show you. Welcome to the show. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the Alex Build Stuff show. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys following along on this fun adventure of me completely rebuilding our van. In my last episode, you would have seen me build that roof rack. I taught myself how to weld TIG, which was really difficult. It took me an entire week to build just a roof rack, but I got her done. Now I can finally start on the ceiling, which I'm really stoked about. So that is what this episode is going to be. Just putting in a ceiling, insulating, all that stuff. Show you how, to, how it's done, what the, one of the good practices is for doing that. And um, yeah, come along for the adventure. So before I go ahead, just slapping the ceiling up in place on the inside, I need to do a bunch of pre-wiring. The reason being, I'm gonna be burying a bunch of wires, which usually isn't something I really like doing, but because I just don't want to have the hassle of having to build a, a wire chase for everything, um, I'm just going to hide everything behind the wall. So right up there, just behind the window, is gonna be my solar wires, exterior light wires, and Starlink wire, and it's all gonna be hidden behind the wall. I've got all of my tools, all the things I need to do that. It always amazes me how many tools or how many materials I need just to do a job like this, which is put two holes through the roof and seal them. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. First things first, drill a couple more holes in the roof. Yay! I love doing this. Two holes. I just usually just drill one hole so that uh, both cables can fit down inside. So this right here is the infamously long Starlink cable for the dishy. Although I understand why it's very long. We have been traveling around storing this insanely long cable for like five months. And because we are hard mounting uh, Starlink to our roof now, um, we don't need all of this. So, <gasps> don't worry, it can be fixed. Okay, there you have it. Those are sealed. Now I can get onto the interior. With the holes drilled in the ceiling, I can now tidy up all of these wires. I taped them to the wall. I got to actually anchor them to the wall now so that everything is a little bit tidier. So the wiring is all cleaned up. We've got everything kind of in a place that it's secure and not going anywhere. I've got this big huge wire chase right here that goes all the way down. It's nice and tucked away. All of our wires are kind of in a better place. I had to cut the, um, the body of the van just to allow wires to come down through so I didn't have to wrap them around this part here. Put a piece of wood back here just so that I could hold all this wiring in place. And all through here, all this is anchored to the wall 
And now it's time to start putting in furring strips. Let's do it. Well, the Reflectix vapor barrier is in on the ceiling. We just have yet to do this front compartment, which I think we're both dreading. And um, yeah, for now, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we don't have any more reflectix, so we're just gonna put insulation over the rest of the high top. <laughs> oh, those are good. Mm. Okay, I've got the measure too. Ah! 48 inches. All right, it looks like the ribs are all done. What we have done here is we have just given ourselves a nice even curvature so that we can put a big old sheet of uh, four by eight by eighth inch um, stuff up here. <laughs> So next we start on the uh, actually putting insulation up. I still got the, I still got the whole front end to do, but ugh, I do not like doing ceilings. I'm just like ah the whole time. All right, well now it's time to get uh, going on the side. So let's get her. So, got a lot done yesterday. Got the whole ceiling insulated, which is pretty great. See all the stuff on the floor? That's all that's left. And now we're just gonna put a whole bunch of wood on the ceiling, which is gonna be super duper. All right, let's get after it, yeah. Megan here. <laughs> um, we are going on a hike on my only day off this week and we are going to take you along. So we're going to do a little quadra adventure day. Hope you enjoy.
wants us finished up with our hike, let's get back to building. All right, folks, we're back. Let's get this ceiling done right quick. Yeah. a lot of work but the ceiling's up <laughs> oh my gosh that was so much work all right guys we have one last thing to do before we finish this ceiling install and that is installing roof vent we finally got this in the mail let's get after it I keep cutting holes in my gosh dang van. Well, I'd like to say that's the last hole that I'm going to be cutting in the roof, but it's not. I still have a chimney to put in over there at some point. <laughs> so I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to fix this wire that I managed to cut through. I'm going to uh, wire this with connectors. And I'm also going to tape up um, these edges just to try and maintain that vapor barrier that I worked so hard to create. So I'm all finished up sealing the bezel. In the event that you were watching that and wondering what the heck I was doing putting this black sealant on, um, I use a product called Proform 224, which is a urethane sealant that I really, really like. I have a few kind of half emptied uh, tubes of it and I wanted to use it up. I do have self-leveling sealant, which a lot of people use for this kind of application. Um, but just because I wanted to use the the pro form up um, that's what i did it's a really really high quality product it does a great job of sealing and it also stays flexible which is really nice whereas dicor it doesn't i don't know you can kind of scrape it off it gets, it gets really messy don't love the product like this stuff a lot more okay so i'm going to show you a mistake that a lot of people make when they are measuring to cut this interior bezel. So we're gonna get it up in place here. So you'll get it up like this. You'll make a really nice mark right up against the roof line. And then what a lot of people do is they take it down, and they cut this mark that they just made. But that is the wrong thing to do. What you wanna do, measure from the top to this line, so let's say four inches, and then you're gonna go four inches from the flange up. And that is gonna be where you cut. I've almost done that to myself. I've seen friends do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, folks, I think we're pretty much finished for this video. I've uh, made a lot of progress on the ceiling, which I'm pretty happy about. It's looking good. I think I can move on to the next thing. If you guys have any questions about any of the products I use or methods I use, feel free to reach out in the comment section below. I do have an Amazon list of items that I am installing in Betty. And if you guys click on those links and purchase one of those items, we get a slight kickback. So if you want to support us, feel free to do that. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here. And uh, until next time, remember to keep on roaming. Later.